My four-cylinder Ford Ranger is designed so that engine coolant constantly circulates through the intake manifold. This is to prevent freezing in very cold climates. I don't live in a very cold climate. In fact, where I live, it rarely gets below freezing and regularly gets to be higher than 100 degrees. So what I'm going to do today is eliminate the hot water circulation through the intake manifold in an effort to lower the air intake temperature. It's the general consensus in the automotive community that the cooler the air coming into the engine, the better the engine will run. The way the system works is there's a T in this heater supply line that allows coolant to go through this hose. The hose travels underneath the intake manifold, through the intake manifold, and back out through this hose right here. So what I'm going to do is cap off both the inlet and the outlet of the intake manifold lines. To do this repair, I believe I'm going to need two bolts. Um, the size just has to be such that they'll fit snugly in this small heater hose. I also need a hose clamp. The tools required for completing this modification are cutters that are capable of cutting heater hose, needle nose pliers, a long flat blade screwdriver, and pliers. The first thing I'm going to do is cut this inlet hose. I'm going to cut it about right here and then I'm going to put one of the bolts into the hose and then clamp it. A cleaner method would be to just eliminate this T and put a straight coupler, but I don't have anything of that diameter, so I'm going to cut the hose. There's enough slack in this hose that if I ever do want to reconnect it to the factory setup, I can just um, plug it back into this T. So I'll cut the hose. Now that the hose is cut, I'm going to put this bolt into the supply line. I'm also going to put this hose clamp here. I've plugged this inlet coolant hose with my bolt and placed the hose clamp over it so now it's nice and tight. I've also used a zip tie to tie this hose out of the way so it won't flop around in the engine compartment. The next step is to remove and plug the outlet hose which is right between these two intake runners. I'm going to release the clamp with these needle nose pliers. Now that the clamp has released the pressure off of the hose, I'll just push it down with this screwdriver to take it off. And I should be able to reach the hose from underneath. And I'll place my second bolt in this hose with the existing clamp. The hot water outlet return line is now plugged and tied up out of the way and that completes the hot water bypass modification.
Hopefully I will realize a gain in performance or gas mileage. Thanks for watching.